All right, Tony, this is your locker. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Watch it! Oh, I'm so sorry. You just messed with the wrong lad. Who's this smoke with the freckled face? Um, my name's Tony. I just started here. Well, Tony, you're not off to a very good start. Look at his scrawny little arms. Look at him. He's like a tweet. I mean, I think I could just, like, break him in half. I said I was sorry. I didn't mean to. Teach a speckled hen who's boss. Give me one good reason not to knock you out right here. Because I'm smaller than you. Maybe you should pick on someone your own size. What are you saying? That I'm fat? That I'm a big lad? No, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I am going to punch the freckles out of your face. Watch out, Max. Mr. Wilson's right there. I'm going to get in trouble again. You better watch your back. Next time, they won't be able to save you. Oh. There, Freckles. There he is, just in time. Tea's almost ready. Tony, where are you going? We'll buy you back your first day of school. I don't want to talk about it. Well, are you going to at least have supper with us? I'm not hungry. I'll go talk to her. I take it you had a bad day. It was fine. That look on your face is otherwise. I made your favourite for dinner and you're not even hungry. I hate this new school, Mom. I don't understand why we had to move. And I told you I'm not hungry. Ah, I see. You take it you didn't make any new mates today? No, just enemies. Enemies? You're a little too young for enemies, son. What happened? Oh, this kid, Max. I accidentally hit him with my locker, and now he says he's going to beat me up. He keeps calling me freckle face and saying he's going to rip me apart. Really? Uh-oh. I'm going to have to tell your dad about this. Please don't. Phil, would you come in here? I told you not to tell him. What's going on? Some lads at school were giving Tony a hard time. One tried to beat him up. Is that right? I'll let you two talk. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. He's bigger than me. Who cares about how big the other bloke is? You need to stand up for yourself. I would, but he'd knock me down in one punch. Then get back up on your feet. Look, it doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down. What matters is how you pick yourself back up again. But I've got noodles for lambs. Even if I got back up, I'd just get knocked right back down. Standing up for yourself. It's not just about this. It's about this. You gotta be smart. You gotta have confidence in yourself. So what should I do next time Max messes with me? Time to stop and walk away. If he doesn't listen, I've got a few moves that can help you with that. Like boxing? Yeah. I told you when you were old enough I was going to take you to Sunderland Boxing Club. My mate Bobby Beauty could teach you a few things. But for now, I'm going to teach you how to dodge a punch. So, I'm going to come in with the right. I want you to dodge to the left. Here we go. Whoa, that's good. Nice. Now I'm going to come in with the left. I want you to try duck this one. Nice, good, good. So I'm coming a bit faster now. This is fun. Are you going to teach me how to knock someone out? <laughs> I think that's for a lesson for Bobby to teach you another day. But let's just carry on with this for now, okay? We'll try and speed it up a little bit now. Here we go. That's good, Paul. Good. Keep it going. Keep it going. This crap never fills me up. I'm still hungry. I could go for some dessert. Then go get some. I've got any money. I mean, you could always. <laughs> yeah. How is it going, uh, Freckle Face? I love these. My mum used to pack them in my lunch every morning, but I'd eat them before I could even get to the bus. Nice story. If you want one, get your own. Nah. I want yours. Consider it payback. 
for just today. I already told you, Max. It was an accident. Now leave me alone. Maybe I was clear. That's mine. Are you mental? I can destroy you with my pinky. I'm not trying to fight you, Max. Then give me that. Otherwise, we could have a problem. It seems the new kid has to learn a lesson. I already told you, Max, not trying to fight. Too late, Speckleface. Stop teasing him, Max. Get him. He's making you look like an idiot. Shut your gobs. Stop moving. <laughs> not so tough now, are you, Max? Be quiet and stop laughing. You know what, Max? If you want it so bad, you can have it. Oh. <laughs> Dad, Dad! I did what you showed What's me. What's going on? I stood up for myself. Oh, that's my boy. Oh, it was Max. He kept swinging, I kept ducking, I kept dodging. He even started spinning. He had this blotty man look in his eyes, too. Sounds like those boys were really trying to hurt you. Should I tell the headmaster about this? No. I don't think he'll ever mess with me again after this. That's good, son. Come on, let's go home. Don't get so excited, Freckles. This is going to beat you after what you did to him. Yeah, you might be quick. But you're still scrawny like a weasel. Next time, you won't be so lucky. <laughs> is everything OK? Not really. No matter what I do, there's always going to be someone to put me down. I'm guessing those lads aren't your friends. It's not going to stop. I'm always going to get picked on for my size. You're young. If it's size you're worried about, that can change. How's that? By training. I'm working really hard in the gym. You know, I know I've been teaching you how to dodge a punch, but... I think it's time for you to meet Bobby. He can really teach you how to fight. Really? Yeah. Soon you'll be eating lads like that for breakfast. <laughs> but you've got to give you 100%. Boxing, it's not for those who are half interested in the sport. Of course. If I really want to do this, I'm going to give it my all. With help from Bobby, you'll be a boxer in no time. I'm sure of it. Who knows? I might just be the greatest boxer this town's ever seen. Not town, son. Country. And then, let's see who has the guts to bully you then. <laughs> From that moment on, Tony decides to dedicate himself to being the best boxer possible. Tony trained hard with his new trainer, Bobby, every day. Although Tony was small, he used it to his advantage to be quick and nimble. And it didn't stop him from throwing fast, hard punches. Before long, he started competing. He knocked out boxer after boxer. And within a few years, he became the number one boxer in England for his age bracket. Then one day, Tony got the biggest news of his life. Mom, Dad. What is it? She's got a letter in the mail. Read it. They want us to represent England against Ireland. Oh. He wasn't kidding. Oh, Tony! Congratulations! <laughs> oh my kidding. goodness! I'm gonna show the Irish who the real king is. <laughs> you got to life, you son. Good job. Give me jab. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> At 14 years old, Tony received one of the biggest honors any fighter could ever ask for: to represent his own country. This is what you trained for all your life. This is the biggest fight in your life. So you get all your go, okay? Four seconds out. Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. Come on, Tony. Come on, no, Tony. You can do it. When the fight happened, Tony came fully prepared and gave it everything he had. He exchanged blows and went many rounds with the Irish boxer. 
Both fighters were so skilled that neither one of them could knock the other one out. At the end of the rounds, everything came down to a final tally. And the judges decided the Irish boxer was the winner. Tony and his family were devastated. Okay, he just needs a little more training. He'll be all right. Don't be too hard on him. I can't believe I let him be us. You gave it the best you had, and that's all that matters. Even if I still was in love. You can't feel like I let the whole country down. No, you didn't, Tony. You didn't let anyone down. Can't believe I thought Tony would win. What a letdown. What do you expect? Just a lightweight, scrawny bloke. Let me be a real contender. Yeah, guess he's just a fluke. What a joke. All right. Hey, is that the behavior of a champion? I'm not a champion, I just lost. Tony. Hey, let me talk to him. Tony, being a champion, it's not always about winning or losing. It's about having the right attitude. If you saw what happened, how am I supposed to have a good attitude when the whole of England thinks that I'm a joke? I like to see them call you a joke to your face. Come on, let's be honest. I made a fool of myself tonight. Now people are laughing at us. I mean, it's just like school all over again. You know, maybe I'm just always going to be that scrawny, freckle-faced kid. <sighs> I should have just quit while I was ahead. No. Tony, even some of the best boxers in the world, they lose from time to time. You can't even let that stop you. Hey, what did you say to me when we first started? That I wanted to be the best. Yeah. And you'll never be that by quitting after losing one match. So what should I do? You keep fighting. Because like we've always talked about, it doesn't even matter how many times you get knocked down. What matters is how many times you pick yourself back up. Exactly. <laughs> See? I knew you were smart. But trust me, this is just the beginning for you. You're going to do great things. Thanks, buddy. And if I was blaming me. Of course. I'm really proud of you. Now, come on, let's get dinner. And tomorrow, we start training again. <laughs> come on. Give me that. Yeah, come on, get your gloves, lad. And hey, training tomorrow, training tomorrow, training tomorrow. <laughs> Tony didn't know it yet, but his dad and Bobby were right. His boxing career was about to really take off. Tony continues to take down every opponent he faces and wins every match. By losing that big fight, it only motivated him to work harder and get better. Eventually, he goes on to become the European champion at the age of 16. And after years of hard work, he goes to the 2008 Beijing Olympics where he wins a medal in boxing. Tony's life completely changes, gaining the respect from people all around the world. He even meets the Queen. After a long and successful career, Tony dedicates himself to helping other athletes. He teaches millions of people how to box on his YouTube channel and eventually opens a gym in Santa Monica, California, where he trains other boxers. Nice. Good. That's it. Look who it is. Well, if it isn't Max Taylor. <laughs> Tony Jeffries, the champ in the flesh, long time mate. Yes, what brings you to the States? Ah, we're on holiday. I figured while we're here, I'd pay you a visit. Blimey, you've come a long way, mate. Yeah, I'm not that scrawny kid from school anymore who we used to pick on. <laughs> yeah. Not too proud of those days. Really sorry for how I treated you. It's all right, mate. We were just kids back then. Speaking of kids, who was this lad? Ah, it's my son, Andrew. I've showed him some of your old fights. He's a huge fan. Maybe you could show him a few quick moves, huh? I've got a minute. Let's see what you've got. Wait, R really? 
<laughs> All right, mate, I want you to hit this right here as hard as you can. Ready? Whoa, mate. If I was a bully at your school, I would definitely not be picking on you. Thanks, Mr. Jeffries. But a lot of kids have been making fun of me. Any advice you can give my son next time someone tries to bully him? Yes, get it taut and throw it in his face, just like I did with you, old man. <laughs> that did work, didn't it? No, but on a serious note, you've got to learn how to stand up for yourself. And if that doesn't work, speak to your teachers, speak to your headmaster. I've tried, but some of the kids aren't even my school. Well, you tell them to stop and walk away. And if that doesn't work, you're going to have to learn how to defend yourself. <laughs> you, you mean, like, fight back? What if they knock me down? Then you get back up on your feet. Because, you know, as my father used to say to me, it doesn't matter how many times you get knocked down, what matters is how you pick yourself back up again. Thanks, Mr. Jeffries. I, I love that. Uh, could you teach me how to throw a few punches? <laughs> how about I teach you how to dodge punches first? All right. OK, when I throw my right, I want you to dodge to your left. When I throw me left, you're going to dodge to your right. Are you ready? That's a fresh hoodie, man. Yeah, thanks, bro. I ordered that backpack, but it hasn't come in yet. Yeah, mine just came yesterday. Yo, 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 yo. Check out what Eric's wearing. Let's go. Hey, Eric. Isn't that the same hoodie you wore last year? Um, yeah. Aw, oh, man, I'd be so embarrassed coming to school in last year's clothes. Yo, how would he even come? <laughs> even has holes in it. <laughs> Guys, it gets worse. Look at his shoes, bruh. <laughs> those are busted. Where'd you even get those from? <laughs> the dumpster. <laughs> Warm one, I think. It's been a while. <laughs> $10 at the most. <laughs> I wanted to get those edge runners, but my mom says I'm still growing up, so it's a waste of money. I don't understand. She can't afford to get you a single pair of new shoes. <laughs> or a new hoodie. <laughs> Wait, she got me this new backpack. <laughs> oh my god. Well, kind of new. It's from a thrift store. Bruh, Pokemon. Ah, <laughs> oh, he can't be serious. What's wrong with Pokemon? Nothing if you're seven years old. Grow up. No, bro. My little brother is seven. He won't even wear Pokemon. <laughs> it's not being cool years ago. That makes it even more pathetic. It's not like I don't want new stuff. Things at home have just been... I gotta go. I'm not gonna lie. I kinda feel bad for him. Me too. Anyway, we still going to Legoland next weekend? My mom's gonna buy the tickets tonight. Yeah, my dad said it was cool, so I'm good. <laughs> my mom said she'll give me her card, so I'm all right too. That'll be 549. I, I have a coupon here. Four forty-nine. Mom, can I get this backpack? Please? Honey, I just bought you a new backpack. No one wears Pokemon anymore. Kids at school are making fun of me. What did they say? I don't want to talk about it. It's not important right now. The point is, I want this one. C can you please get it for me? Honey, I'm sorry, but you know the situation right now. Maybe next year. Ugh, this sucks! Sorry. <laughs> there you go. No, we're gonna hit up here first. Ooh. Hey, isn't that Eric? <laughs> yeah, it is. He seems upset. I hope everything's okay. Well, if I had on his outfit, I'd be upset too. Blake, how could you? Kathy, hi. How are you? Hi, Sharon. Hi, Blake. Hi. Oh, I'm doing, I'm doing all right, thanks. Well, that's good. Um, I saw Eric walk by. He seemed a little stressed. Yeah. Um... Some kids are making fun of him at school for his backpack. <laughs> That's terrible. Who would do such a thing? I don't know. He didn't say. You know, in situations like these, sometimes the easiest thing to do is <laughs> just to get him a new backpack. <laughs> yeah, if 
fit if it were that easy. What do you mean? Um, I know I said I was all right earlier, but the truth is things aren't going so well. You see, as a single mom, it hasn't always been easy for me to buy Eric everything he wants. But no matter how hard it got, I always found a way to make him happy. That is, until recently, my boss came into my office and said business had been really slow lately. So after 14 years, she was shutting things down. I was let go on the spot without severance or anything. With the unemployment income I get, I'm barely able to afford our apartment. It's heartbreaking not to be able to get my son what he wants. But for now, I don't have a choice. So you see, if I don't get a new job, I can't buy Eric something new. I'm so sorry, Kathy. I had no idea you were going through all of that. Thanks. I apologize for getting emotional. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want to rush, but uh, I, I don't want to leave Eric by himself, so. I'll see you later. Okay. Okay? Bye-bye. Okay. Uh, thanks. Bye. Bye. Oh, gosh. I feel so bad for them. Yeah. I can't believe what they're going through. <sighs> okay, well, let's go get you that outfit for Legoland. Actually, Mom, can I use my allowance to buy something else? Um, sure. What did you want to buy? Something much more important. Okay. <laughs> Do you ever change your clothes, Eric? You just wear the same thing every day. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing that to school. Eric, got sec? Sure, I guess. What's up? Hey, bro. I got you a little something. Seriously? A new Darman hoodie? And here are the Jordans you wanted. Really? These are for me? I tried my best guessing your size, but if they don't fit, we can always exchange them. Also, I got you in a backpack. I was gonna wear it, but you need it more than I do. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. I, I, I don't even know what to say. You don't have to say anything. We're just really sorry for how we treated you yesterday. Going forward. We've got your back. And we'll be there if anyone ever picks on you. Thanks, guys. This means so much to me. <laughs> By the way, you like Legoland? Yeah, but I've never been there before. I've always wanted to go. Why? Because I used my allowance to buy you a ticket. So you can come with us. What? This is so crazy. Hey, let's talk about it over lunch. You want to come in with us? Sure, but do you guys mind if I put all this stuff on real quick? Sure, but hurry it up. I'm hungry. Hi, guys. <laughs> How was Legoland? It was so much fun. And look, Blake's mom got his Lego shirts. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you again for everything. This has meant so much to Eric. <laughs> it's no problem, really. By the way, I spoke with my husband and we would love to hire you at our company. We just had a managerial position open up. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't know what to say. Say yes, Mom. Okay, honey. <laughs> this is gonna change our lives. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lemonade, iced tea, Coca-Cola. Has anyone seen Emmanuel? 
Uh, I don't think he came to school today. Then how are we supposed to play three and three? Trevor, see it. <sighs> I got it, I got it. What kind of pass was that? Here comes that new girl. Why is she dressed like a boy? Don't worry, I'll, I'll get rid of her. Here you go, Trevor. How'd she know your name? We're in the same woodshop class together. Oh. Now get lost. Wait, is it okay if I can play with you guys? So you can get hurt and cry? Not a chance. Go play hopscotch with the other girls. <laughs> but I'd rather play football. We do need someone on our team. There's no way I'm letting a girl play with us. We'll play two on three. Let's go. You think safe? Let's go. Blue, 42, set, hike. One alligator, two alligators, three alligators, four alligators, five alligators, six alligators, seven. Oh. Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Let's go! Yeah. You just finished sanding it down, and now all that's missing is some varnish. Oh, hey, Amy, um, unfortunately, Manuel's not here today, so I'm gonna have you partner with um, Trevor and Julian. Whoa, 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 what? No, I don't want her in our group. She'll mess up our project. Just put her with someone else. I didn't know you were making the decisions now, Trevor. You just feel lucky to have Amy in your group. You might learn a thing or two. Oh. Okay, you guys all can begin now. Shouldn't you draw an outline first? Don't tell me what to do. Um, do you mind if I help? No! I don't even know why you're in woodshop class anyway. You don't belong here. Uh, hey, don't hold it like that. You're going to... Break it. You messed me up. This wouldn't have happened if you weren't here. Hey, Mr. Smith, can we get a new wood board? Uh, Amy was distracting me. I'm getting shot! Oh! You haven't gotten a single kill yet. Wow! He died again! Oh. <laughs> Same guy's caught me like five times. He's gotta be hacking. If you stick to the high ground, you won't die so much. Okay. Like, I'm really about to take advice from you. Run with your knife, you'll move faster. I died again! You're messing me up! Here, can I try? No! Girls don't know how to play Arsenal. You're just gonna mess up my stats. No, I won't. I guarantee I can get a lot more kills than you. Oh, <laughs> you got owned. <laughs> she said she guarantees it. <laughs> Look, just because you dress like a boy, doesn't mean you can play like one. Why are you being so mean? You know I'm good at Roblox. Why would you know that? Yeah. Wait, wait. Are you guys like friends or something? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I, I would never be friends with a tomboy like her. Trevor. Why would you say something like that to Amy? You need to apologize to your sister right now. Sister? Guys, can you give us a few? You need to go say you're sorry. I'm not apologizing to her. She keeps trying to play with us and it's annoying. No, you should be happy that she wants to play with you. Not, not excluding her. Why can't she just stick to girly things? Like hopscotch or patty cake. She shouldn't be playing football or Roblox. She can play whatever she wants. Girls can do everything boys can do, if not better. <laughs> yeah, right. I really can't. Okay. You'll see. Because starting tomorrow, 
You have to include Amy in everything. No way, I am not hanging out with her at school. That is so embarrassing. It's not up for debate. It's either that or I take away your iPad and when we get home, your PS5. Wait, th that's not fair. It's the last chance. Include her or no? <sighs> Fine. Mm -hmm. Get in the car. Trevor is not excited about having to include his sister. The next day, Trevor plays football again with his friends. When Amy comes up to play, he hesitates. But knowing he made a promise to his mom, he lets her join. And to his surprise, her very first pass, she ends up throwing a touchdown. Then in woodshop class, Trevor still can't figure out how to complete the project. Just as he's about to give up, he finds out that Amy already completed the entire duck. Trevor and the teacher are both so impressed. Trevor finally starts to see how capable Amy really is. And then, after school, is when Amy really impresses Trevor and his friends. <sighs> Died again. I keep telling you to take the high ground. You know what? Why don't you try? Really? Okay. <laughs> Got him. God, nice shot. Got him, dude. Oh, that was so good. This is crazy. If you get one more kill, you win. I won! Oh, oh, I can't believe it. <gasps> nice job. Wow, that was amazing. You know, mom was right. Girls can do anything boys can do. It's not better. <laughs> okay, class, today we will be watching a Darman video. Yes, I love Darman. <laughs> yeah, there's no surprise there. Only nerds and dorks watch Darman. So all his videos are dumb. They're not dumb, Billy. They teach important life lessons. Actually, this first one is about bullying. Maybe you could learn a thing or two. Yeah, whatever. Okay, well, I'm gonna step out for a bit, but don't forget, tomorrow is Best Friends Day, so make sure you bring your best friend and be prepared to tell us what you wanna be when you grow up. Let's do this. Let's go play. Wait, should we invite Ali? Hey, hey, Sam. Um. Have you chosen a friend f for tomorrow? Uh, yeah, I chose Charlie. Why? Uh, no, uh, no, of course not. Never mind. Hey, uh, Noah, what's wrong? Do you need a friend to present with tomorrow? Here, I I'll tell you what. I'll be your friend. Really? Psych! <laughs> you really think I'd be your friend? I'd never be friends with a loser like you. <laughs> Leave me alone, Billy. Just, just trying to watch this. Oh, uh, or what? Are you gonna cry? <sighs> no girl is ever gonna date a guy that All just right, plays video. Let's just be honest here. You're the only loser who wants to watch this dumb video. So you can just watch it at home with your friends. Whoa, wait. Uh, I forgot. You don't have any friends. <laughs> uh, maybe you can just watch it with your mom instead. <laughs> hey, Brittany. Um, I was wondering, have you chosen a partner yet for tomorrow to present with? Uh, yeah. Jess already asked me. Sorry. No. Uh, yeah. Of course. Uh, sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't. Hey, watch where you're going, loser. Sorry. Sorry, Billy. Even with glasses as thick as a magnifying glass, you still can't see. <laughs> huh. Wait, 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 wait. It doesn't get any better than this. The loser who's wearing a So You See hoodie 
can't even see. How ironic. <laughs> it's not supposed to be literal. It's a quote that Darman uses in all of his videos. I, I guess that's why no one knows. Because only losers with no friends watch his videos. That's not true. I watch Darman. I love all his videos. Exactly my point. You're a total dork too. Hey, maybe you and Noah can be partners for tomorrow. I mean, you're practically made for each other. <laughs> Do you want to be my partner? I would, but I already asked Justin. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow. Even the other losers are too cool for you, Noah. Man, you're never gonna have any friends. Oh, you're so annoying. I'm sorry, I just wanted to hang out with you guys. Absolutely Aww. not. Does Noah the nerd ought to be friends to sit with? <laughs> you're such a loser. I'm not even bothering you. Why do you keep messing with me? Uh, uh, don't tell me you're watching another dumb Darman video. Hey, give that back. Do you want it back? Fine. Here. Psych! <laughs> Here. You can get it out of the trash. No, no, no. Have fun eating by yourself, Noah the nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Dork! <laughs> You'll never be cool. <laughs> hey, honey. How was school? I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry you had a hard day, honey, but I've got something that I think just might cheer you up. A new Darman t-shirt. So you see? <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I love it. Oh, anytime, baby. <laughs> See you later, loser. <laughs> Never mind. I don't want any of his dumb merch. Noah, what are you talking about? I thought you loved our man. Not anymore. Only losers watch his videos. Talk to me. Tell me what's going on. I don't have any friends. And today, I was the laughing stop of the school. You see? Oh, my glasses. Oh, my glasses. I can't see. There you go. Oh, thanks. Are you okay? Yeah. Some kid at school has been really mean to me. Uh, look, I, again, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. For... Darman! I, I can't believe it's really you. I'm like your number one fan. Oh, thank you so much, but what were you saying? There's a kid at your school that's being mean to you? Yeah. There's just been some kid who's been calling me a loser because, well, I don't have any friends. Tomorrow's best friend day, and I'm, I'm the only kid in our entire school without a partner. So sorry to hear that, but just because you don't have any friends doesn't make you a loser. It, it doesn't? No, you know, back when I was in school, I didn't even have any friends. Wait, what? You, you didn't? Most days, I didn't even have anyone to eat lunch with. And it used to make me really sad. But then, as I got older, I realized, you don't need to have friends to be cool. You can be cool all by yourself. Wow, I, I guess I've never really thought of it like that. You're right. I, I, look, I, thank you. Thank you so much, Dar. I, I will never forget this. You're welcome. And don't forget, we're not just telling stories. We're changing lives. <laughs> I'll see ya. Okay, bye. Oh my God. Dar, man. It was, baby. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that, that's why we're best friends, because we, uh, we both like video games. And we dance too. All right, um, how about Noah? Why don't you go next? Good luck, loser. Um, Noah, do you have a friend joining you? He doesn't have any friends. He's a loser! <laughs> Billy! That's not true, okay? Darman told me that I could start. <laughs> Darman told you? 
like he would ever talk to a dork like you. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, this is your last warning. One more time and I'm giving you detention. <laughs> What's so funny? Dormant? What, what, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm actually here to see my friend Noah. Today's best friend's day, right? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, why don't you go ahead, Noah? Okay, um, well, when I grow up, I want to be a YouTuber. Just like Darman. Wow, thanks, Noah. I really appreciate that. And you know what? I think you're so cool. I even made you your own limited edition merch. Wait, 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 wait what? I can't, I can't believe this. I, I'm going to go put this on right now. <laughs> yeah, go Noah. Wow, that was unexpected. <sighs> okay, Billy, why didn't you go next? Uh, when I grow up, I... Billy, where's your friend? Uh, he, he couldn't make it. <laughs> wow, I, I can't believe you showed up, Dar. Ah, he's by himself. What a loser. <laughs> oh no, could your mommy not show up? <laughs> loser. Hey, loser. hey, he's not a loser. But he doesn't have any friends. That's all right. Just because you don't have any friends doesn't mean you can't be cool all by yourself. Putting yourself in debt over someone who's not your girlfriend. It's that smart. After three weeks of dating. Wait, well, she's not my girlfriend yet. I'm planning on asking her tomorrow night. It's not too late to cancel on Sam here and be my date for Valentine's. Oh. <laughs> you still clearly don't know me at all. 